Brand new details just leaked from one of Xbox's biggest exclusives set to launch in the next couple years, and I played Forza Horizon 5, and I'm going to tell you all about it. There's a lot here to talk about in this video, so let's get into it. What is going on everybody? It is Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another video. I hope everybody is having an incredible day. If you guys can do me a big favor, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and please share this out on social media. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys for all the continued support. You're wonderful. There's a lot going on right now in the world of Xbox. Far Cry 6 is finally out. Back for Blood just launched day one in Xbox Game Pass. Forza Horizon previews are out and I've played the game. I'm gonna get my thoughts on it a little bit later on in this video. And some brand new details just came out about one of Xbox's biggest exclusives set to launch in a couple years, and that is Avowed. But you already kind of knew this was going to happen if you've been listening to the Xbox 2 podcast, where my co-host Jez Corden has been teasing certain things, teasing articles about games he knows certain things about, and Avowed is one of them. Jez has actually seen footage of the game, maybe even the first person outside of Xbox and Microsoft to see what Avowed looks like. And he wrote in great detail about the things he has seen and how after seeing that footage, Avowed is now one of his most anticipated games coming from Xbox Game Studios. Now I know what Jez is saying in this article is 100% true because he shared with me the other day the footage that he has seen of Avowed. So I've seen it, but I'm not going to describe it I'm going to let Jez Corden describe what he saw. So yes, I've seen the footage. I know what Avowed looks like and plays like, at least from the couple minutes of footage I have seen. But here's what Jez Corden says about Avowed. In the past year or so, more and more details have gradually made their way to me via trusted and proven sources familiar with Microsoft plans for the future of Xbox. First, we detail Contraband, previously known as Project Typhoon, which is set to be a co-op smuggler's paradise. Then we detailed Project Dragon, which looks to be an online RPG from the creators of Hitman, IO Interactive. We also recently offered some details on Inexile's Project Cobalt, which is a steampunk-style FPS RPG, alongside Project Indus, which we believe is a 4X strategy game from the team behind Ashes of the Singularity. So this is where Jez is hyping up all the different leaks and code names and stuff that he knows that Xbox is doing, setting the stage for what is coming in this article. Sources familiar with internal plans have reached out to us in recent months, offering details on Avowed, moving through pre-production towards a player alpha state. Indeed, Obsidian is likely close to having a working early version of the game with many mechanics and core gameplay pillars already implemented. I can't be sure how old some of the footage I've seen is, and there's a good chance it's far further along. The Outer Worlds fans already have plenty of reasons to be excited about Obsidian's upcoming slate, given that Outer Worlds 2 has been confirmed. Avowed seems to be based on a similar, albeit enhanced engine from the Outer Worlds, complete with action-oriented first-person combat and deep RPG exploration and narrative systems. We were told Avowed will feature multiple class playstyles and borrow from Skyrim's two-handed combat system. You could wield two daggers and be a stealthy rogue, or dive into archery with a two-handed bow. You could use a combination of swords and magic or go full two-handed magic, which is required to wield some of the game's more potent spells and abilities. Avowed will feature many elements Pillars of Eternity fans will be familiar with. Wizard spells like Jolting Touch, which can fry enemies with Forks of Light and will be present. Two-handed spells like Fireball are conjured using complex-looking hand gestures, but decimate enemies in a storm of magma and fire. I also saw status effect spells like Fetid Caress imbuing enemies with corrosive poison. Weapon enhancements seem to be a big feature too, with magically enchanted swords and frozen arrows as examples. Pillar-style guns may also appear in the game, similar to the muskets found in the original two titles. Familiar creatures such as the lizards will appear alongside much larger and deadlier threats all the way up to drakes. The combat seems to be more loadout based than the Elder Scrolls which gives you mountains of spells and a gigantic list. Warriors will get access to more physical attacks like swordplay, powerful kicks, and shield bashes, while casters will be given a range of spellbook options to customize and tailor to their combat styles with attacks 
bound to specific buttons. If The Outer World was Obsidian's take on a Fallout style game, Avowed is undoubtedly Obsidian's take on The Elder Scrolls. The two-handed first person combat style is unmistakable but there are obvious differences in early documentation. At least directly compared to the likes of Skyrim and Oblivion, Avowed seems to be a far more colorful game, reminding me more of The Outer Worlds. Luminescent cave mushrooms, verdant forests awash with gigantic flora, and halting sunlit temples complete with skeleton infested depths and tombs are plentiful. It came as a bit of surprise given the game's original trailer, which seemed like it was trying to strike a much darker tone, save for the neon spell effects. Jazz goes on to say he feels like there's a good chance we'll see Avowed in a playable state by E3 2022 at the latest given the quality of content I've seen, which may be even several months old at this point. Perhaps there's even a small chance we see at the Game Awards at the end of the year. I teased in my podcast. Oh, really, Jez? Is it your podcast? I thought it was our podcast. Anyways, he teased on the podcast recently that he'd bet money that we'd see another Xbox exclusive Hellblade 2 at the Game Awards this year, since I've indeed heard that it was in the plan to show more of the game by the end of the year. Perhaps we could get a two-for-one deal and see a vow show up there, too, but it may be too early just yet. Either way, Avowed went from relative obscurity in my list of most anticipated Xbox games to sitting near the top, especially as a big fan of The Outer Worlds. Obsidian's excellent character writing and penchant for branching narrative combined with the rich world of eternity gives Avowed some seriously huge potential, and I can't wait to see the game fully revealed. I think Jez did an excellent job summing up all the things that he saw watching that leaked footage of Avowed, giving us a taste of what Avowed is going to look like and potentially play like whenever we do see it again. Hopefully to be this year during the Game Awards where we can take a look at both Avowed and Hellblade 2, but at latest it would show up at E3 next year. We can probably see what the game plays like, and if I had to put a prediction and when Avowed is going to launch, I think it's going to be holiday 2023. So let me know in the comments below what you think about all these new details regarding Avowed from Jez's article. So those are some brand new details about Avowed, an Xbox exclusive set to launch in a couple years. But how about some details on an Xbox exclusive that's set to launch in less than a month? That's right, I have played Forza Horizon 5. But I will mention that this preview is something you probably don't even need. You already know that Forza Horizon 5 is going to be absolutely incredible because it comes from Playground Games, the makers of the Forza Horizon series. And Forza Horizon has been the top of the racing genre ever since it debuted with Forza Horizon 1. And it's reached that critical mass with Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 4, where it's already the peak of the racing genre, especially arcade racers. You know what you're getting with Forza Horizon and it's top tier quality and nothing has changed in that regard. Forza Horizon 5, in my opinion, is going to be the best Forza Horizon game ever made. But that's kind of been their motto since the first one. Ever since the first one, it's just gotten better every single iteration. I know a lot of people are asking, hey, what's a little bit different from this one? We know the game's going to play virtually similar. And yeah, there are some small tweaks, but mostly the game plays just like how you remember it. But it has a brand new location, which makes it so much better in my opinion. Mexico is such a better diverse location with some cool places to drive through and see than the UK was in Forza Horizon 4. And the intro race does an excellent job of showcasing you all that diversity right away in some action-packed driving. You drop from the sky in the Ford Bronco right on top of the volcano in some rocky mountainous terrain before switching over to our Corvette, driving through some small towns and some countryside, working away into a dust storm before transitioning to another car, which you'll drive through the jungle, go through some rivers, drive next to a temple. And finally, you'll be driving in a supercar along the beach with its white sands, making its way to the Horizon Festival. That intro does a very good job of showcasing you some of the locations that you'll be visiting and of course giving you a taste of the many different style of cars you'll be playing because the Ford Bronco controls a lot differently than the supercar you play at the end. And that's one of the things I love about Forza Horizon is each car controls and handles differently than one another and they really revamped the audio for the engines this time. A Ford Bronco sounds like a damn Ford Bronco and a Corvette sounds like a Corvette. They sound powerful and like how they used to sound in Forza Horizon 4. And playing on the Xbox Series X, I'm going to say that Forza Horizon 5 is the best looking racing game ever. And and you could maybe even make an argument that it's one of the best looking games of all time. 
And the Xbox Series X has two different modes you can choose from. Quality mode, which favors a higher resolution and textures and all that good stuff. And a performance mode that also targets 4K, but is going to give you that rock solid 60 frames. Now, I played a lot of Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 4. Forza Horizon 4 is a damn good looking game on the Xbox One X, as well as the Xbox Series X with that upgrade. But honestly, the first time I loaded up Forza Horizon was driving down the mountain next to the volcano or driving through the lush forest as some rain came down and the flamingos all flew away from my oncoming car. I was struck by just how beautiful this game looked and how much better it looked compared to Forza Horizon 4. It is an amazing looking game that's going to be a showpiece for the Xbox Series X. In this preview, I only got to play about the first hour of the game and there were some features that weren't available like the event labs, the much talked about expositions, and of course multiplayer and co-op were not available during this preview. Can't wait to see what expeditions is all about when the game fully launches. But what I did get to play, I really enjoyed and I really liked the structure that they deal out the content with. After that intro race, you pick your character, you'll see a new cutscene where your character interacts with some of the other characters in the festival, which is interesting because Playground has never put an emphasis on story and cutscenes like this, so it'd be interesting to see how much of that is layered throughout the game. The game then starts to dole out some events. You do a showcase event where you race a cargo plane, and then you're presented with a choice. You have one Horizon story or another, and whichever one you pick, you can't do the other one until later. And then once that is finished, the whole map opens up and you can choose what to do. Maybe you want to do a circuit race. How about a point to point? How about doing some of those PR stunts like speed traps or trailblazers? And as you do each one of those things, you're earning accolades. So the first time you complete the race, you'll get 750 accolade points. And when you level that up, you'll get the next section of the horizon story. So it definitely seems like the story campaign and how everything is doled out is a lot more structured than before. But the big change for me personally was the map, Mexico. It is so damn cool. It is so diverse. I just love driving around and exploring, seeing what I can find in the jungle or driving all the way up the top of the mountain and looking down and seeing the entire playable space beneath me. I think Mexico is a million times better than the UK from Forza Horizon 4. And right now, with only playing a few hours, I would put it about on par with Australia for Forza Horizon 3. But here's the thing about Forza Horizon 5. You already know it's gonna be amazing. You already know it's gonna be one of the top games of 2021. You already know that no other racing franchise can touch what Playground Games is doing right now. So you don't even really need my preview as I said. Playground Games are masters at their craft and Forza Horizon 5 is their next masterpiece. Anyways, guys, that's the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all the new details from Avowed, and are you excited for Forza Horizon 5 to launch next month? If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Share this out on social media. Hit that notification bell. If you want to support the channel even further, you can always hit the join button where you will get access to emotes for the Xbox 2 podcast. We do every single week with Jez Corden from Windows Central. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you that takes the time of your day to do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.